Buongiorno. So, thank you very much also from my side that uh, uh, we are invited for uh, speaking a little bit about uh, Gisela. I just want to introduce a little bit the, the company. So, that's uh, the CDB. Most of you may not know the CDB. Oh, excuse me, I have to. The CDB is a uh, limited company um, of an association of German nurseries and they hold the rights of the Gisela and the Pico cherry rootstocks. The CDB was originally founded to take over the promising Giesen breeding material from the university to introduce it to the market. Today, um, CDB offers a broader spectrum of rootstocks for fruit trees, such as the Gisela, Pico, no? and Pirate Wharf Vavit. I just put them and some more information later, but I pass over. So, the Gisela clones are the first successful and economically important dwarfing rootstock for sweet cherries in temperate climate conditions worldwide. Uh, as already said, they arise from breeding program from the University of, of uh, Gießen and produce size controlling, precocious and productive rootstocks for cherries. Within the huge material of hybrids of different origin, there was a broad spectrum of size control from very dwarfing to very strong, from suitability for intensive high density cultivation and undercover to vigorous types for extensive cultivation and replant soils. So the three clones were released in the first wave, such as Gisela 5, 6, and 3. I just put this information, but I pass over. So the second wave, more recently, um, were released three other clones from the Gies material. Gisela 12, semi-vigorous, Gisela 13, also semi-vigorous, and Gisela 17, as vigor known as vigorous. Uh, these new clones are in the focus of my presentation. So, some common advantages of all six Gisela rootstocks is good compatibility, healthy, certified budwood provided, precocity, high productivity, broad adaptability to soil and climate conditions, flat branching and broad growth habit, no suckering tendency, excellent winter hardness, and tolerance to pollen-borne viruses. So the cultural management of cherry of cherries on size reducing rootstocks is very important. So the cultural management methods have to be adapted to the need to the needs of Gisela rootstocks and are more intensive than with cherries on Prunus avium rootstocks. In general, the more dwarfing the clone, the higher the requirements to soil and environment and the more intensive the cultural management is. Early starting regular pruning has to assure that each year sufficient shoot growth and leaf area are built up for fruit nutrition. So we heard all this from Greg this morning. Higher and more frequent fertilization compared to trees on conventional rootstocks and irrigation or fertigation or end fertigation is necessary or at least beneficial. With such adapted Cultural management, the high productivity on Gisela rootstocks is maintained over many years and fruit size is not negatively influenced. Early reports on smaller fruit sizes have been explained in the meantime. They were, they were not induced by the rootstock but resulted as a consequence of too little pruning, insufficient fertilization and lack of irrigation. So Gisela 5, I just pass over there, this is the general information. This is a nice photo, just four weeks old, or a little bit more, also made in Oppenheim. This is uh, on an SSA. So, uh, Gisela 6, I also pass over, Gisela 3. So, the new Gisela clones, whereas Gisela 3 and Gisela 5 are very well established and successful in this respective class of vigor, the CDB exploited the material from Gießen for new clones with stronger vigor. As an alternative to Gisela 6, in the semi-vigorous range, clones Gisela 12 and Gisela 13 were plant patented. A rootstock stronger than Gisela 6 in the vigorous range had been lacking in the CDB portfolio. The gap was closed by clone Gisela 17. With the three old and the three new clones, 
the grower has a good choice and can choose the clone which best fits to the environment and intended cultural intensity. Here's an overview uh, which you find also on our homepage. So the, the, the Giesler rootstocks are propagated uh, uh, by in, in, in a vitro lab, in vitro pro propagation, so that this produces homogeneous plant material of high quality with initial strong growth, which reduced to the clone specific level with the beginning of cropping. So virus free and uh, certified true to type material is guaranteed like this. Restarting, rest the, our, our partners, the labs restart regularly with uh, true to type basic material. So now a little bit in detail. Uh, Gisela, Gisela 12, this rootstock was gained increased importance in the last years, especially in the US and South America. With vigor in the range of Gisela 6, it shows better adaptation to windy sites, to high natural precipitation, and less susceptibility to Pseudomonas, bacterial canker. So Gisela 12 has been classified as tolerant to viruses PDV and PNRSV. So origin, Gisela 12 is an offspring of the crossing Prunus carnescens with Prunus cerraus leitzkauer. The grafting compatibility is very good. In later years, strong overgrowth at the union may occur, but the grafting union remains solid. Encourage on Gisela 12 is, is, is good. Roots deeper than Gisela 6. Uh, the crown structure is open and in later years even broader than on Gisela 6. Suckers are not produced. After pruning, new shoots are easily formed. Gisela 12 induces precocity, less fruitfulness compared to Gisela 5 or 6 is assessed as positive as even in combination with soil fertile varieties. Cultivars, no overcropping results and good fruit sizes can be achieved without thinning measures. Beside good winter hardiness, Gisela 12 also has an adaptation to hotter climates. Good soil conditions are recommended. Very heavy soils should be avoided. Gisela 13, with a similar size control, it depends on the conditions, can be a little bit more, a little bit less. The new rootstock is regarded as an alternative to Gisela 6, as it performs very well under less favorable environmental conditions and is very well suited for soil fertile cultivars. Gisela 13 is a hybrid of the crossing Prunus cerasus, Schatten Morelle with Prunus canescens. It's the same crossing as Gisela 3, 5, and 6. So, Grafting problems have not been reported. There's only a little overgrowth of the grafting union. Size control of Gisela 13 is comparable to Gisela 6, as already said. It induces stronger growth than on 5. Encourage is good. Suckers are not built. The yielding, po yielding potential induces an early beginning of cropping, even under less favorable growing conditions and in combination with soil fertile cultivars. High yields and good fruit qualities are achieved. This clone has performed very well with high yields and good fruit sizes under conditions suboptimal and on replant soils. Gisela 17, a new clone in the vigorous group, is the most vigorous of all Gisela clones and induces a tree size 17 to 80 percent of Prunus avium. Cropping starts much earlier than on Prunus avium. It is very robust and healthy and can cope in inferior event environmental conditions and in extensive cultural management. It is the rootstock of choice for beginners, for growers who used conventional rootstocks before, are not yet familiar with high density cultivation, prefer greater plant distances and for sites with only medium quality of no irrigation possibility. Gisela 17 facilitates the tra transition from vigorous to size reducing rootstocks because of good compatibility and health. This rootstock is a very good alternative to Maxima. Gisela 17 originates from the crossing Prunus carnescens with Prunus avium mazat. The genetic condition is diploid, so due to Prunus avium being one of the parental species, it has a genetic basic for stronger vigor than all Gisela clones. Compatibility is very good and the grafting union is smooth. Trees on Gisela 17 will reach, yeah, we had that already. Um, the encourage is good, no support is needed, and 
Gisela 17 does not build suckers. Negative characteristics or tree losses are not be, have not been reported. Despite of the relatively strong growth, this clone induces early cropping, noticeable good fruit sizes were achieved on Gisela 17. As there is little danger of overcropping, it is possible to combine this rootstock with self-fertile cultivars. Gisela 17 is less demanding to soil and climatic conditions and intensity of cultural measurements than Gisela 5. This rootstock is very robust and adapted to replant conditions. This is a photo on uh, also four weeks old, Belize on Gisela 17. Outlook. At Gießen University, a second breeding cycle was started in 1979 to produce new rootstocks from sweet cherries, possible even improved ones. So among over new thousand new hybrids, the most interesting offspring of the second breeding cycles, cycle are hybrids between Prunus cerasus and Prunus canescens and reciprocal similar parentage as Gisela 3, 5 and 6, 12 and 13, but involving new forms of Prunus cerasus. Three way hybrids with Prunus cerasus as female and hybrid Prunus canescens with Prunus avium or reciprocal as male parent. So nine new uh, selected clones are planted this year in uh, spring 2019 at several European trial stations just to see how they support under these different conditions over whole Europe. So the CDB also markets the uh, Pico rootstocks for cherries. Cherry rootstocks originate from, originate from a breeding program at Dresden Pilnitz in Germany. The aim was the production of rootstocks with good fruit, uh, with good compatibility, less vigor than Primus avium, high yields, and early beginning of production. Hybrids of different weak growing Asian Prunus species with each other and with Prunus avium and Prunus cerus were produced. After long-term testing for suitability as rootstock with several cultivars, three clones were selected, Pico 1, Pico 3, and Pico 4. All three clones are tolerant to PDV and PDNRS, PNRSV viruses, compatible with sweet cherry cultivars and self-supporting and robust. So this is a short overview there. Uh, Johannes? Yeah, small. okay, thank you. All Pico clones are classified as vigorous, Pico 1 being the weakest, Pico 4 medium, and Pico 3 is the tr strongest clone. This is uncertainty about the vigor, as under same con some conditions is even weaker than Gisela. F Pico 1 is under some, some conditions even weaker than Gisela 5. After initial strong growth, the typical level of size reduction is only reached in later years. So, the yielding put potential is uh, under certain conditions very good and it's very early, but precocity is not as pronounced as with Gisela clones. All three clones have a high yielding potential, even without irrigation, good fruit sizes are achieved. So, very important is on, Gisela, on Pico clones, they are, they are, they are bred in, the, in eastern Germany in, in a sandy, light, soil area, so never put uh, uh, Piku on heavy clones because uh, they, uh, they're prone to water logging. So this is an overview and so far I understood uh, everybody will, can download these presentations from the homepage. I just uh, put the information on Pirate Waf and Vavit, but that's not our Go today. Grazie mille. <laughs> Thank you very much. Grazie. Grazie, Johannes.